Getting a new phone is really exciting, especially if it's one that's fighting to change the electronics industry. But like everything new, you'll need some time to figure things out, like how it works, where all the buttons are, and how you can adjust the settings. So we're here for you. We've collected some useful tips and tricks to help you make the most of your Fairphone. Let's take a look. Want to make a screenshot of something interesting you spotted on the internet? No worries, it's not hard at all. Just press and hold the power button on the left side of the phone and select the screenshot option. Yes, you've just made your first screenshot. Here's to a whole lot more. YouTube videos are so much better on big screens, aren't they? So how can you cast your favorite cat videos on your TV? Slide down from the top of the screen to open the settings hub. Then select screencast. If it doesn't connect to your device right away, go to the screencast settings and select the three vertical dots on the top right corner. Select enable screencast, connect to your device and start streaming. Who's up for a 12 hour marathon of keyboard cat? Hello? Anybody? Sometimes a simple screenshot won't cut it anymore. So let's take it to the next level. How can you record your screen? The Fairphone doesn't have a special button to record your screen, but who needs it? There are several apps in the Google Play Store to do just that. Just pick the one you like best, download it, and start recording. Running out of space for all your photos? Time to transfer them to your computer so you can let your inner photographer run free. The quickest, easiest way to do this is with Google services like Google Drive, Google Play, and Google Photos. Open Google Drive on your phone and transfer all of your photos to this app. Then open Google Drive on your computer and download the photos. After you're done, you can delete the photos on your Fairphone. Joining the movement for Fair Electronics isn't just about saying hello to your shiny new Fairphone 3 Plus. For many of you, it also means saying goodbye to a more familiar operating system. Let's start transferring your beloved memories from iOS to Android. Your Fairphone 3 Plus uses a Fairphone operating system, which is based on Android 10. To make sure the process goes smoothly, prepare a few things in advance. Charge both phones. Make sure you have a stable Wi-Fi connection. If you don't already have a Google account, create one and sign in on your Fairphone. Turn off iMessage, otherwise your text messages might end up on your old iPhone instead of on your Fairphone. Got all that? All right, let's go. You can migrate from Apple to Android in just three steps. Here's the first step. Download and open Google Drive on your iPhone. Find and open it on your Fairphone. It comes pre-installed. On your iPhone, open the menu in the app and go to Settings, Backup, and tap Start Backup. The next step is to backup your data. You can backup the data in your iPhone and iCloud account to Google Drive, which can then sync with your Fairphone 3 Plus. Contacts and other data from sources like your SIM card or Facebook will not back up automatically. And now, the final step, complete the setup on your Fairphone. To do that, you'll need to add the Google account that contains your backup. Go to Settings, Accounts, tap Add Account, and choose Google. Then go to Settings, Systems, Backup, and switch the toggle to Activate Backup to Google Drive. Congratulations, you've just made the switch. It wasn't that hard, right? Want to know more about migrating specific information to your new phone? We've put the link to the relevant article in the description. In case you need more help, you can also contact customer support. There's nothing more annoying than a dying battery. It always seems to strike at the worst time. Like when you're about to take the train home from work and you're sitting next to someone who wants to share their life story, it's gonna be a long ride. But next time, you and your battery will be more prepared. We've got some tips and tricks to help you maximize your battery life. First, turn the battery saver on 
swipe down with two fingers from the top of the screen to open the quick settings menu and tap on the battery icon. Confirm that you want to turn on battery saver by clicking turn on. Second, find out what's using the most energy in your phone and use those features less. To see this, swipe down with two fingers from the top of the screen to open the quick settings menu. Press and hold the battery icon. Tap the menu dots on the top right to open battery usage. Tap the menu dots again to get more detailed information. The battery graph shows how fast you're consuming energy. Below the graph, you'll see apps and functions listed in order of most to least energy use. Third, adjust your brightness. Your five inch screen burns a lot of energy when it's in use. You can adjust the brightness to conserve energy. Swipe down with two fingers from the top screen to open quick settings menu. Slide the little sun icon to the left to dim your display. Fourth, adjust your connectivity. After the display, data connections usually consume the most energy. Here's how to quickly turn them off or on. Toggle the green switch in the top right corner to the left to turn the connection off. The switch should turn gray. Fifth, change your location settings. Location settings can also impact your battery usage. We recommend using a less accurate, but more battery-friendly location setting whenever possible. It's important to remember that this mode reduces accuracy, so don't use it when you need very specific location information, like directions when you're driving. Go to Settings, Location, Advanced, and select Location Accuracy. And last but not least, decrease your phone's workload. Certain apps, accounts, and features impact your battery life as well. A few ways to decrease your phone's workload include removing interactive apps, turn off touch vibration, turn off sounds, and remove all online accounts that you don't use. All these tips should give your Fairphone 3 its best possible battery life. To end this video, we'd like to share some cool new features of Android 10 that we like a lot. In Android 10, you get more than just suggested responses to your messages. You also get recommended actions. So if a friend invites you to dinner, your phone will suggest a reply. Sharing Wi-Fi passwords was always such a pain on Android. So Google has now integrated Wi-Fi sharing right into the OS. From the Wi-Fi settings, you can choose to share your connected networks via QR code. Android users have been asking for this one for a while, and it's finally here. On Android 10, there's now a system-wide dark mode. You can turn it on in the settings menu. Dark mode affects supported apps and all of the Android menus. It will automatically activate when you switch to battery saver mode. Focus mode takes away some of the distractions on your smartphone. Goodbye social media. You can pause distracting apps. And there's a quick setting tile to make this even more painless. We hope you've learned some useful tips about your new phone. Thank you for watching. If you have any more questions about your Fairphone, please check out the rest of our YouTube videos or visit our website.